Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. And I have my son, Quinn, here. He's six years old. And we're gonna play something called Birthday Candle Counting. All you need for this activity is some Play-Doh, some cupcake cups, these candles that have digits on them. You probably have some of these from birthday cakes at your house, and some regular candles. And what I'm gonna do is just put a little glob of Play-Doh down in the bottom of a cupcake cup, grab one of my digit candles, Poke it in there, and then Quinn, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna put um, the candle. Okay. Like, this is number one, so I put one candle in there. Okay, you poke Shh. it in there really hard. Ah, Got great. It. How many are you gonna put in this cup? Two. Okay, can you count out loud? One. Two. All right, and this one? One. Two, three, four. Okay, while you're working on this one, I wanna talk about counting. Counting is an important skill for children to develop. There's a lot going on when children are counting. First of all, they have to know the counting sequence and that it goes in the same order no matter what they're counting. And this time we're counting birthday candles, but at other time we might be counting pom-poms or teddy bears. It's the same counting sequence no matter what. They have to keep track of what's been counted and they need to have something called one-to-one -one correspondence when they count, which is they say one number for each item that they count. That kind of skill is important to develop among first graders, kindergartners, and preschoolers. So have fun building a math positive mindset with your kids with birthday candle counting. Thanks.